Okay, guys, so here's my Outlook inbox, all right? And there's a lot of things in here that um, I didn't get to show you that I want to show you all. So um, first we have our inbox. We have our drafts. So if you ever start making an email and then you, uh, you, know, you get sidetracked or whatever, it'll be stored in drafts. You can also check what emails you've sent, okay? And to, to create a new message, of course, click on New Message, and that will bring up how to, you know, you'll write the address, the email address, the subject, the body. You can attach files right here by clicking Attach or down here at the paperclip. Now, the, another thing that I didn't show you all was that uh, th they've got a lot of emojis here, and I, I send you one here. I like to send them to you here. You can search emojis, and you can search GIFs or GIFs. I never really learned which one it was supposed to be. So they've got all these different uh, GIFs here, and you can search like, hello, and you can find one in there that you like. I think this is where I sent you that one the other day. Okay, so I'm going to disregard that. You can either trash the whole email. Are you sure you want to discard? Yes. So you can just discard the whole email, trash it. And now I got an email here for Marco. And I'm sure he doesn't mind me using this email for my demonstration here for this video that's going to be on YouTube. All right. And so he emailed me right here his assignment. But if, and it's a great picture, awesome, just what the doctor ordered, a picture of nature. It's a nice tree. And now, oops, he messed up somewhere. He did not put his period in the subject. So I want to reply. How do I reply to him? So if I ever send you an email and you want to reply back to me, you just hit this back arrow that says reply. So you can just hit the back arrow. And now I'm going to tell him, great picture, but you forgot to put uh, your period in the subject line, okay? And then I'll hit send, and now he has got my email, and so uh, that's how you communicate here. And there's something else that I want to show you all here. And you may have seen this before, you may not, but this is what I'm going to want you all to do here. If you go up here to settings and you search, um, let's search signature, email signature in settings, and you'll come up with this. Now it says, I want to create a signature that will be automatically added to, to your email messages. So at the very bottom of your email, this will always be there. And this is, makes you look more professional. So let's, uh, let's take the case of Marco again. This is what his signature would look like. Marco Morado. And as, since you guys are students, it would be nice if you put your uh, ID number there. That way, any emails you send has your ID number. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting your physical address, but you could put your uh, school address. And you can also put, um, thank you, Marco. You can also put um, your name. Well, you have your name, but this is like a signature. So, um, you may have seen it like, uh, oh, you can put like 8th um, grade South Middle School. And then you can go ahead and change up the font. Okay, it, I recommend not doing anything too crazy, but I've seen people that I work with do stuff like this. And they'll put like a little, uh, you know, something like that. And what this does is this will show up. You can even put a quote. I see a lot of people, they put a quote. Uh, they'll put like a little quote. Okay, so. And then you got to put automatically include my signature on new messages that I compose. You want to check mark that. And automatically include signature on messages I forward or reply to. So you're going to click on both of those. So what you guys are going to do, you can even put a little picture 
And let me pause this real quick. Okay, I resumed here. You can put a picture, and I remember I forgot that I was going to send you all the uh, Red Cat logo. It's a little uh, white and blue logo. You can put that down here too. And I'll, I guess I'll send that to you right now in a minute so you can see kind of what it's going to look like. But you guys are going to create a signature, email signature with your name, ID. This is a perfect example if you'd like to do that. And then right here it would be nice if you have the RevCat logo. Um, any color you want, just nothing too crazy. Remember, you want to, you want this to look somewhat professional because, you know, if you're sending emails to teachers or whatever, you want to have that. And then what you would do is you would hit save, okay? And I'm not going to save it because I don't want to be sending emails with Marco's name on it. But you would hit save, okay? So I'm going to discard it right now. But then the next time you go to new message, you'll see that exact thing right here so that way it's got all your information okay and it just has that nice more professional look okay and before you do that let me just talk about I know there's a calendar function yeah down here so I'm gonna disregard that and right here at the bottom you've got a calendar function and I just wanted to bring this up because some of you guys like to be very organized you can use this for uh, you know, let's say you have an assignment due on the 11th. You can double click there. It'll pop up this window. It even gives you the little kind of weather deal. You can say uh, essay due for English. And you can put a description. You can go on and on and on with that. And you could even move this time. You could say it's due at 12 p.m. And I'm going to save that. And then right here. So you'll get a reminder about that. So if any of y'all want to take advantage of this, that's there. And then you can make a contact list. Okay, so let's say you want to add a new contact. Okay, uh, Marco, can you put your, I'm sorry to use you as an example again, but can you put your ID number in the uh, chat, please? So we're going to go to add contact. And I'm going to show you how easy this is and how helpful. This is so helpful that you guys have access to this. I'm going to add contact. And I'm going to write here, Marco. Okay. Now, an email address. I'm going to just type out his uh, ID number. No, it's not that smart. So I'll have to type out, what is it, MM at student? Like that? Okay. And I'll create. Okay, so now I've got Marco as my contact. So if I ever want to send him an email, I'll just go down here to my contacts, click right here, or, or just click on his name and send or send email right here. And I can send him an email. So why would this be helpful? It's very helpful because Let's say you have a, a class with Marco in, let's say, ninth grade um, biology or whatever. Guys, you guys are all going to be together 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So you can use this to communicate. Okay, let's say, uh, oops, well, that's supposed to say assignment. Hey, uh, Marco. Did you finish the biology assignment? What did she want us to do exactly? And you may be saying, and I'm going to go ahead and send that. Maybe you're saying, but sir, why don't you just text them? Yeah, you could do that. But um, maybe, you know, uh, my, my guess is that as teachers learn that you have access to this, uh, whole Microsoft 360, they're going to be utilizing it more. And they'll probably probably be sending you more assignments through email and stuff. So I just wanted to show you these features. Even if you don't use them, maybe you'll have a job in the future where, where you'll be using this. So um, there we go. That's what we went through. And you can even, um, I'll leave these two uh, for later. But that's that. So let's go ahead and uh, open up Outlook.
and let's create that signature by clicking here on the year and searching signature 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 I don't know you saw me do it last time so I'm sorry it's because I'm in contacts that's why it's not working you gotta be in mail for this to work alright guys I'm gonna sign out here see you later